I am Rocky Dickerson with Realty One Group. So, Las Vegas real estate market crash, huh? Let's take a look at what's really going on. Yes, the media is getting some wild stories out there. And yes, there are some people that are trying to gloss over things. Truth is, things are slowing down. Truth is, prices are coming down in some areas. But let's take a look at the actual facts and base our opinions upon that. First, let's take a look in the facts. Facts are that condominiums rose nearly 40% in the last year. And yet, at the same time, in the last month, there are some areas of Summerlin where the median sales price reduced around 20%. How can this happen? Well, homes in Summerlin are not worth 20% less than they were a month earlier. It's just the price range that was actually selling had lowered. Market segmentation is going to be key in what we see this year. Now, in May 6, there was a key article about Zillow when their stock tumbled 12% in one day. They were stating then that they feel the path ahead is uncertain. In fact, three weeks later, they would revise their growth forecast down an additional 3.3%. In fact, what they did in the first quarter is they sold over 8,900 homes and only bought 231 because as of January 31st, they said they are no longer acquiring homes. <laughs> Those estimates are now becoming absolutely worthless. Let's take a look at our next article of information. When we look at May 23rd, we saw a consumer survey about inflation. They said more than half the survey respondents, 57%, believe they pay more in monthly bills and other regular expenses and it will rise. I guess the other 43% may have been asleep. On May 29th, a gentleman from CoreLogic said this is a really unique market in the fact that the sales are down 14.9% from 2021. On June 1st, it was announced that Nevada has the fifth highest number of foreclosures in the U.S. with one foreclosure for every 3,043 homes. This is really a needless statistic since inflation has raised values well over 30% in the last two years. So 99% of all homeowners have the equity that they can sell their home. On June 3rd, we see that the Census Bureau stated that the sales of single family homes had dropped substantially. And at the same time, mortgage rates increasing. We're seeing now that home prices rising with mortgage rates rising means a monthly mortgage payment is about 52.5% higher than it would have been just one year ago. June 10th talks about lumber pricing. Yes, lumber is down, but it's still nearly double what it was just two years ago. Although, thank goodness, it's about 60% less than it was a year ago. This will help to reduce some of the new construction costs. June 13th, we see here that a Freddie Mac economist said this is the most significant contraction in market activity since 2006. Well, that's to be expected. That was only 16 years ago. We were in quite a boom for a number of years. So yes, having any contraction is going to be significant. Remember, we've seen this before. There's no such thing as a bad market. Now, on June 14th, it was announced the Federal Reserve will shock markets, likely hiking their interest rates by 0.75%. They're trying to curb inflation. We were expecting this. Now, this is going to hit especially hard for people carrying credit card debt. As far as mortgage rates, maybe not so much, although it will eventually show up there as well. So let's take a look at the bottom line. The bottom line about the Las Vegas real estate market crash. In one word, is it crashing? No, this market is not crashing. Is it slowing? Yes. Could it lose some value? Perhaps. 
but the big keys for this year. Remember, this is real estate, not day trading. Buy and hold these homes for three to five years. Watch your market segmentation and keep an eye on growth patterns. Perhaps the Southwest and even the South may be very prime for growth in the next three to five years. If you're looking for more information about how this may affect you and your homes, call me, Rocky Dickerson at 702-743-7625 or email rocky at rockysalesvegas.com and please subscribe to my channel.